Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And yesterday, somebody sent me this picture of a luggage tag or a key bob and wanted to reproduce that and didn't really know how to do it. So I reproduced it and I just did it again. So I thought I'd show you how to do it uh, real quick. You might not ever do this, but it'll kind of give you some insights on maybe some other things to do. So I've just drawn a star and as in my past videos, you can never find the center of a star. Uh, you can rotate it from the center uh, by making a six point star, but in this case that doesn't work. So when you do this right here, you need to make sure you go from node to node. Let me zoom in here a little bit. So you got your two point line. See where, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it says node. So you've got your node and then you want to take your smart fill tool I had it set on white because I'm going to use white in just a second. So we'll go black. And we're going to go black every other one. Then I do not like using white, but you need to, for this particular case, you need to fill it in with white because you're going to put some of that stuff in the background and stuff behind it. So control G to group all that together and just kind of prove we're going to bring in a yellow box and uh, fill it with yellow, put it to the back of the page. And this particular video is going to show you how nice it is to have back to page easily accessed. So you can see now I've got a star and uh, with white background. Now there's a few steps in here you need to kind of uh, do an order. And it's a little bit tricky and took me a couple of tries to figure it out. But anyway, control D and make a duplicate of that. Now you'll see it's trying to rotate it from up here on the star. You need to double click it and move your rotation to that node. And sometimes if it gets off, just go out the picture and come back. Now we need to rotate this 36 degrees because of the fact that it's got five points, but there's 10 segments because there's an inner and outer so 10 divided by 360 is 36 but we want this one the one we got selected to the back of the page because we want this front star to be there now this is where it gets a little tricky control d again double click on it rotate it and only rotate it nine degrees now once again you need to put back a page now you can take your other star, control D, and rotate it 18 degrees. One more time. Now you could go one more, but you're going to mess up this one. And you could have probably, because you want this one on top, you want this to be the visible star, this second underneath, make a rotation of that other one we rotated earlier. Whoop double click on it and rotate it 36 plus 9 is 44 then go control D control D now the only thing I did wrong I didn't put them to the back of the page as I was going so you need to put them into the back of the page and you can see how this helps you um, I put one more to the back of the page Uh, something doesn't look right. Yeah, good enough. So now, how I made the oval. So all I did is control. And this is, this is I've done something wrong here, but uh, for the video, because this one right here really ought to be moved up. So this one needs to be moved to the back of the page. Um, There we go. Anyway, good enough for the video. You kind of understand that. So control G and then you can just elongate it because you're going to elongate the whole thing. We'll make it a little bit more. And that's maybe too much. It makes a star name look like a star anymore. So 
but you can see how it's kind of elongated. You could actually probably skinny it in and do the same thing. Now to get the front across the front, and this is where, and I normally do this, I didn't start in the center of the page. Let's go down to the center of the page where this is. This is where the center of the page is going to help you draw you a rectangle, put it in the center of the page. Then you've got the rectangle selected, then hit select your star and do back minus front. And there you have a white spot to put your text. And you could actually take away the outline. Let's zoom in here. And then you could write, I can't remember what that said, but star, make it the, the right size, hit P on your keyboard. And there you have, you could have a company's name and it would look just like this key bob or luggage tag logo. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit and thank you for watching.